All right, Dr. Jaffe, this is a follow-up question to another question that we had before um, from one of our PIH Academy members. The follow-up question um, about TMAO. This practitioner would like to know if TMAO concentrations increase in the blood just after ingestion of foods containing choline, or can supplementation with choline citrate also increase this metabolite? Very important question, since you are, when you talk about TMAO, you're talking about a quaternary amine. And when you're talking about choline, you're talking about a quaternary amine. However, the choline citrate that we use is absorbed in the stomach, through the mucosa, in the small intestine, and never gets to the colon. And it's partly digested food remnants in the colon acted upon by bad bugs because of long transit time that actually generates the TMAO. So an understood, understood question, a, a, an important and, and thoughtful question. Uh, the result of that question, the answer to that question is, Choline citrate is different than all other cholines. It's different than citicholine. It's different than choline bitartrate. It's different than other cholines. And we specifically chose choline by, uh, sorry, we specifically chose choline citrate <clears throat> because not only is it 100% absorbed through the surface mucosa, through the stomach, through the small intestine, so it never gets to the colon, but there's actually a choline deficiency in the country that is so severe that the Department of Defense is considering giving a choline supplement to improve the fitness of our military. And citrate is, of course, alkalinizing and energizing. So the reason we recommend choline citrate is because it never forms TMAO and because it has multiple benefits. And that is why we use it to your and our benefit. 